started uh, riding, just at a riding school in, um, on Mersey Island, which is a little island off the coast of Essex. And um, my mother and my brother started riding and apparently I just made such a fuss that I wanted to get on the pony that in the end, I think my brother, who wasn't really that keen on it anyway, relented and I, I got to ride the pony, which was blacky. And um, it, was, it was riding along the beach on the leading rein. And it was, uh, yeah, I remember it, it being beautiful and fun and um, I, I was just completely hooked right from the beginning. So far, I, I haven't really achieved all that I want to achieve. I think um, probably as, as I train more and more horses, you, you realize, I mean, it's a sad cliche, but you realize the more you know, the, the less you, you, well, the more you think you know, the less you actually know. Um, and so there's still a lot that I want to do. I think each time you take a horse through to Grand Prix, um, you, you learn so much and um, I always just get frustrated that I, I want to be able to do more and you, you're always riding around thinking that you're clumsy and that you should be able to do it better. So, um, uh, yeah, it, I, I, guess, I guess that the best thing is the partnership with each horse that you take to Grand Prix because it, it, it becomes such a, a, a close partnership. Every horse that I've taken or had at Grand Prix level at the time would definitely be my favorite. So I, I, I hate sort of, it's like trying to choose a favorite child. I, um, I mean, Wilton, he was my first Grand Prix horse, so I owe him so much. And then um, Excellent was, uh, a, a, he was a larger than life character. He was a, l a little bit on the crazy side, but he, was brilliant and I sometimes wish that I could have him back because he was was a quite exceptional horse. He was so full of life and full of enthusiasm that it was pretty hard to control sometimes. And then, um, you know, the other horses that uh, I've, I've had at, at Grand Prix, like Donna Carrera and um, Green Oaks Legend, he was a beautiful horse. Um, and then, of course, Jive, and unfortunately, I, um, I don't know whether Jive will come back into work, or, or time will tell, uh, but he was, um, yeah, pretty amazing horse. And now, of course, Bullwinkle, and um, Bullwinkle is, is, at the moment, I'm, I'm certainly not telling Jive this, but at the moment, because he's my favorite horse that's in work. Bullwinkle also known as Rocky. Um, I've had for two and a bit years now um, and he's, he's a great character. I, I really love him. He's um, got a, a very good work ethic and a very big heart. He's a, he's a real trier and because his former life was as an eventer I think probably when I started with him he thought that I was completely crazy but uh, as he's got more and more confident and comfortable with it, um, he, he just tries harder and harder. So, um, and he's also very talented. He, he, um, uh, he's, he's still got to improve in the Piaf, but basically he, he has a, a pretty complete um, repertoire and, and um, he tries really hard so you can't ask more than that. He's actually finding the work easier and easier and I, I'm finding what my aim is to improve everything but basically without making it worse. I think if you get a little too greedy um, then it's easy to blow the horse's confidence. Um, that's pretty much any horse so I'm, I'm trying to improve everything that uh, we're doing but w without getting too greedy about it. Really a lot of this is just about uh, making sure that you, you train pretty much every day and that you work really hard at it. Well at the moment I'm uh, a little bit, bit short of horses. I'm, I'm really lucky I have lovely little Fiji who is really Brianna Tillitsky's main ride but I, I um, get to ride him a bit um, and he's a beautiful young horse. 
Uh, but at the moment we have uh, mostly sold our, our baby horses. So we have real babies or we have the, the Grand Prix horses. So that's probably another thing that I would like to do this year is uh, make sure that I've got another youngster coming up. I'm probably lucky in that I don't get too nervous. I've competed so much since I think I was about six years old that I gradually um, have learned a, a system that I use myself, which is um, about two hours before the competition. I, I like to run over exactly what I'm going to do, so I'll visualize the test um, and I, I tend to uh, not go and watch the other competitors. I stick pretty much to myself. With Bullwinkle, I really only have to remember the, the Grand Prix and the Kerr and the Special. But then if you've got young horses as well, I think uh, I, I learn a pattern. Um, and I think, again, that's practice. So if, you, if you're having trouble learning um, the test, it's just time. And, and you ride as many tests as you possibly can. And um, for me, I, I remember a pattern rather than lessons.